I'm going to talk about painting glass. A lot of people have trouble painting glass. And there are different types of glass. I'm gonna just uh, do this demonstration of just a simple wine glass with some wine in it. And then the, the next demonstration I do will be cut glass, because I know that can be quite a problem. I wanna show you a painting here. There's some glare on it, sorry about that. This is a painting of different types of glass. You see, this is what we're gonna do today. And you see how simple it is. You have to paint the background first and then paint the glass on top. Here's a colored glass with a little bit of a cut pattern in it. There's a simple martini glass. And this is, a, this is blue glass, you see, that has a pattern to it. We have to be able to see through the glass. That's why you do the background first. And then we have the bottles here. So as you can see how the highlights are really important to capture glass. So we'll talk about all of that in this little demonstration. Okay, so we're gonna start and I'm gonna sketch it out first. We'll sketch the wine glass first. I'll take some charcoal and I'm going to paint the wine glass over here and then later we'll put a cut glass over here on the right. So, so you know, about two or three inches up from the bottom I'll put a straight line and then I won't go too low on the canvas. Now, the, you know, wine glass, if you look at the proportion, it's usually half and half. You know, if you divide this in half, the upper half is the bowl of the glass. And I'm looking slightly down on it, so I see the top, the top of it. Then there's the stem. And there's the oval. And usually, usually the stem is as wide as the, the globe up here. You know, so drawing's really important. I think um, art students don't draw enough, but drawing is really important. Okay, so that's my idea. Now, the first thing I like to do, once I get it on there like that, you know, dip in my medium, my oil medium here. See, so my little cup of oil will dip in there. And then I'll just sketch it in I could take something, anything that'll get absorbed into this painting. Because I have a black background, and uh, we have the red wine here. But just, just to fix the drawing, let's take some medium. You know, I just want to get, you know, just fix in my mind where this is. Okay, okay. Simple as that. And now we take a bigger brush, a soft brush, and brush it away. Okay. Now see, I, I poured about, oh, a half a glass of wine here, so it goes up to about there. So what do we do next? Well, we'll let's block in the wine itself. So that's a red wine. And I'm going to take a lizard and crimson. Here's my, you know, my lizard and crimson here. Let's put a, just a little bit of ultramarine blue in it. it. Just makes the red a little bit darker. It actually makes a violet. So we'll put that on there first. The, you know, the big mistake students make is I'll, I'll show you in a minute. They'll, they'll outline the glass. But we're painting wet into wet, and this is how you would do wet into wet. So you're going to put that on first. Okay, so now what do I do? We've got to paint the background. And I said the background was black. So we'll take a background brush, something bigger. Get a bigger brush. 
Yeah, this, stay with the bristle brushes. We dip in our medium. Here's some black. And I'm going to say, I'm going to put the uh, background to about here. Okay, see, so we go right through the stem. Here we are, take some more black. We're going to go right around that red. Just paint the background. So I always like to dip in the medium and then dip in the paint because it thins the paint and it goes on better. So we go right through that glass. We don't want this canvas to slip on us. Okay, so let's cut in here. This canvas isn't quite square. Okay, so go right down to the wine. So I have red and I have black, okay? Let's take another brush and we'll put some, take some yellow ochre here and we'll put that on the table. I'm going to cover that canvas. This is a demonstration, but this is the way I paint, paint everything. Okay, so see as, as the uh, progression goes from light to back, to, from front to back it gets darker. So just to keep things simple, let's take some gray with the ochre. And we'll make this go back. See, we cool it off. And also it's creating a shadow. So it's creating depth, you see. Okay. And I could take a dry brush, blend this. Just want to get that started. Okay, okay, there we are now. Okay, what do we do next? I'll show you. We'll take another brush, then we'll take my mall stick and steady my hand. Now see, remember that I drew a center line initially. So let's scratch it in with my mall stick. And we'll say the tulip, this is a tulip glass. So see, whatever is on this side of the line, the same distance has to be on this side. So this actually should be a little bit wider. And here's the top. Scratch it in. Now remember, you could, could also do the background, let it dry, and then paint the glass. I've, I've done that many times also. Okay, let's measure. Here's the bowl of the glass, here's the stem. Goes down to there. There's my base. See, then, then up here it cur curves a little bit, and then comes straight down right into that base, it curves a little bit there, see. This curves this way and comes down. Okay, so we've got it scratched in there. All right, now, 
but let's keep going with this wine here. Let's go back and mass it again. I'm gonna take that same red here, the red and the blue, and smooth it out. You know, the great Dutch masters were good for painting liquids in glasses. And Chardin was, you know, the great French still life painter. And we got to, you know, keeping the darks transparent also gives us more luminosity. Okay, now from where I'm standing, this is even darker. So take some more blue, more ultramarine blue in the red, make this even darker. You know, Caravaggio was great. He did some great still lifes and he's good to look at when he painted uh, liquid in a glass. Okay, because you, you know, I tell you, with students um, paint too many reflections in glass, they don't simplify it enough. So I'll get rid of some of my construction lines there. Okay, now we'll look at the glass itself. So I have a string of grays here. So let's go with the darker gray. We'll start with the darker ones and then we'll build up till we get the white highlights. So now it's drawing with the brush. We draw with the brush. See, it comes down like that. And look for where the glass may disappear. You know, the, the, see the rim, from where I am, the, the rim will disappear here and there, but we could do that now or later. Let's put it in and then I'll soften it later. But see, start with these darker grays. This is, this is below the middle of the palette. And what's the middle? The middle is orange value. Orange and ochre value is the middle. So this is below the middle. We have to know where the middle is. So with glass, frankly, the less we do, the better. Okay, I'm still looking at the, the lights here. So if I'm down here, pick that up a little bit. This is a, this is a little bit of a lighter gray. See, the key is we have to see through this. Let's get a darker, mix a darker gray for down here. This is what you see in the base, the darker gray. You know, we paint, uh, paint what you see, but like I always say, we got to paint what we know. So we know this is a, an ellipse. and just paint where you see the dark. Might have to go a little bit wider. A little bit wider. 
ellipses are, are not are difficult to paint. But it's uh, the more you paint, the more the more um, you get get the hang of it. The easier it'll be. It's ne seems to never be easy, but it's um, something that takes concentration for sure. So remember, this paint we're painting painting what I see. I also paint what I know. You know, and also I, I'm adjusting the drawing as I go. I cut, let's see, see, I need to cut in that background a little bit. There'll be a shadow cast from the glass as I develop this. But let's go back. Let's go back to the wine again. So, so here's some reds. This is cadmium red. This is cadmium red medium, actually. Now, see, the light is coming from the left, which means the reflection will be on the right, just like a grape. Then there's also light hitting the top of the wine and the front, like that. And a little bit in the back, see? see we'll talk about grapes at some point, but you know, the, uh, the light passes through the wine. It's going to take a dry brush and just blend this. blend it like that. See, the light passes through. Now, now let's take an orange. There's orange. I'm going to put that in here, right there. And I may put just a little bit in the center of that. Helps it to glow even more. Now we'll go back to the glass itself. We go, let's go to this lighter gray. This is not white, this is gray. Let's go, that's why it'd be too light. So, the part of the glass that's facing the light is lighter. And then see this, this is the back end of the glass. catching some light. And the front rim, the front rim is coming out into the light. So now let's go, let's go down here. There's light catching here and there. There's a little light passing through there, coming in the front here. And also right here. See, we just have, you have to squint your eyes to see this. Because if you squint your eyes, you close down the light. And then you'll see, you actually see better. I'll just move this around and uh, blend it a little bit. Here's some, let's take a little shadow here. This is the, uh, the, the, the color that's on my table plane. See the, the, the shadow coming back this way. Okay. Okay. 
You know, there, there are reflections in the back, back of that glass, but it doesn't always work to put those in back in here. I, I don't really like that, so I, I don't do that. So, okay, let's look at, um, let's look at the highlights. Highlights are white, so we go to the white up here and really load the brush. Take a little wee sable here and load the brush and put it on thick. See, I got two strokes. Get some more paint. The light's reflecting back there. It's here. Put pure white there. Pure white there. The, the, these, hi, these highlights are really what make glass look like glass. And they have to be done um, really, really in, carefully and in the right place. So as long as we observe, observe the light, know where the light's coming from at all times. Okay, now take a, a gray. Let's go back to the gray. Here's a light gray. Remember, this is the light coming from the window because I'm painting under natural light. So on this front edge of this wine, you'll see a, a cool highlight. And actually, you'll see a cool highlight on the back. Let's take a darker light. And it's hitting in the back here. Now you see, see some areas are lost. This is lost into the background. Right under here it's lost into the background. This is very soft here. Let's take one more highlight like this. You know, and put, put the ones in that reveal the, the form in the best way. And if they don't, don't put them in. So let, I'm going to just take a, a brush, clean the brush out, and I'm going to blend a little bit. I'm going to take a dark gray here. Right there. And we're going to go darker down here. It goes like that. There's a lot of dark in this, a lot, a lot of but they, you, you have to put them in the right place. Well, let's, you know what? I'm going to take a little bit of my background color, my ochre and gray, because I see that passing through here. Okay. Well, let's take a little more of that. And we'll put it... See how the mall stick helps steady my hand. That's essentially how you do a glass wet into wet. You know, the, the next one I do, I'm gonna paint this and let it dry, and then we'll do cut glass over here. But um, let me see, let me do one more thing. Just for the sake of making a little painting out of this. We'll take some, uh, it'll take some ochre and some of that orange and yellow 
to the gray. And just pull the light out here. Let's give a little progression, little progression of light. Okay, maybe I could zoom in on that and then that's it. Okay, thank you for watching.